Well, today is Tuesday, it's the 16th of April 2024, it's a bit of news. But we're down in Palma Nova and uh, Anita's feeling a lot better. Thank you very much for your lovely messages. Uh, they really, so they meant a lot. We're going to have a little walk along the front and we're going to go just a slightly different way to start with, uh, just to show you uh, an alternative way to get to one of the charity shops that we would like to recommend. So just to point out that that's the roundabout that gives you the entrance to Palma Nova, Cayuco, and we would normally walk down that way and uh, that takes you directly down the beach. And I guess many tourists probably wouldn't walk around this one. We've got Scallop over there, that's a new, newish sort of restaurant. And uh, we've got the Banco Sabadell there, the front of the banks. And we're just going to walk down this way, uh, past the, the shop that sells all the nice furniture. and. Uh, and walk past the garage. Down here it's uh, it's a little bit more residential. It's certainly not a place that we would normally walk down but uh, I just wanted to show you an alternative way of getting to the uh, one of the Lions charity shops that uh, particularly sells books. I know many people when they come on holiday they, they bring a book and in the first couple of days they've finished it and uh, they're looking for something to read and the, the Lions Charity Shop is that perfect place for you to go and uh, pick something up. to see where it comes out on the other side. So some nice big villas around here and apartments. You see parking's at a premium. We managed to park in the car park today but uh, as the summer progresses that's going to become increasingly difficult. The road goes on round there. But, uh... Well, for an instant there, I think I've lost my bearings completely. I couldn't see where I was going. We just walk around the corner here. <laughs> and uh, we're straight at the charity shop. This is the shop that sells cards and books. And they also actually a meeting place, particularly on a Friday afternoon. And just look who's sitting there. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? So, lots and lots of books, all nicely organised, so you'll find them. They're in alphabetical order and according to genre. So you can have a sit down here and, and read, just to get yourself accustomed to that book. And uh, if you need a greetings card or a birthday card, missing you card, thank you, thinking, thinking of you card, then they've got them all here as well. Even a few knickknacks and things. And if you're one that still uses um, CDs, plenty of those to look at. Or uh, if you still watch DVDs, then uh, lots and lots of DVDs here. Get yourself a whole week's worth of viewing, months worth of viewing there. And if you're really old school, I'm not telling Adolfo this, but they've even got records. So that was Adrian in there, and he, he manages this shop for us, the Lions Club. It used to be a little bit further down, they moved up there to a much bigger premises, which has really given them a lot of space to show the books and for people to get together. So the shop used to be down here. It's now just uh, an extra storage area for them. If we go all the way down, we'll end up on the road that goes down to the beach from the roundabout, so you'll start to recognise just where it is. Just a 
thought about this place across the road here. When we first came to the island, it was called the Bar for San Francisco. It was one of the first places we ever came to in Palmanova. We had fish and chips there and thought it was absolutely amazing back in 1985. Yeah, really nice couple. We go through this and we'll be on to the main road that leads down from the roundabout to the heart. Lots of shops and bars here. There's an Indian across the road just doing a menu of the day, which we haven't been to yet. It's still not on my diet, so uh, uh, sometime in the future, I guess. Hello. Hello. Well, we've seen lots of people there that we knew uh, or know us, and uh, all really nice. Just again to point off, the, point out the other Lions charity shop. That that one did close temporarily. They had a quick revamp and it's really nice in there now and very well organized uh, there they show they've got a, they've got a few books but it's mainly knickknacks clothes um well all sorts of things really well worth a visit if you're missing something and you don't want to buy something new then uh, you can nip in there and see if they've got one and you're supporting a local charity does lots of great work on the island in the local community there was a little bit of a breeze, but uh, it's a lovely day today. Let's just stop in to admire the plants here outside the sushi restaurants. The flowers here are so nice. Very well kept gardener. It's important, isn't it? Important when you're sitting in a restaurant or a bar that it looks nice and has that good feeling. Just uh, noticed a warning sign here that on the 20th of April, then uh, we're going to have some road closures. There's going to be the the Calvia Marathon, half marathon. I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but uh, there'll be lots of uh, roads closed. It's very difficult. We had a terrible time uh, a couple of years ago. We were trying to get to uh, the Elba Hotel, and uh, it was during this half marathon, and uh, there was such such tailbacks um, because the cars were only allowed to go when the, the runners had run past so uh, I'll, I'll avoid it this year so that's this coming Saturday and uh, actually the poster up there says uh, Dia del Libre it's the, the book day the world book day and uh, that's going to be along here also on the 20th of April so it's going to be the reason I suppose that it's going to be closed so we might actually come across that here's Mai Tai we had a message uh, yesterday somebody who had actually gone to Mai Tai on our recommendation uh, it's a great place if you want to come for lunch they do a menu del dia which is very good value or in the evening uh, you've got the whole choice of everything so really nice place for a meal just can we cross over friends driving in the car well still no beach uh, umbrellas or sunbeds can't believe how late they're leaving it here this year we've seen them on lots of other beaches in fact a month ago we were in Calamillo now we are on the other side of the island no uh, beds, no beds. Yeah. They'd got them there. We were down on Cala Mayor, which is in Palma, and they'd already got the beds and there were loads of people. And there's a lot of people here already on the beach. And uh, it, this is Tuesday now, so we're not talking about uh, locals having a few hours off. These are people who are here on holiday. I what the reason is. There's not even any sign of anything being brought down here. I've not seen anything in the press 
as an explanation for this. It's just weird. Perhaps more worrying is that the uh, lifeguard station is not being manned and the weather is so nice. People are actually in the sea and they're swimming, having a good time. Even worse, the lifeguard station there looks as though it's been damaged and the, the door of the locker is actually completely broken off and needs uh, some repair. As I said, they've uh, been doing a lot of pruning around the, uh, the lavender here. That'll all come sad, back. It? it does look a little bit sad, and uh, I'm sure a bit of watering and a little bit of TLC, it will all come back. And just a quick look over the road, there yeah, are lots of places now, they're all just open and everything is running to normal. There's La Cantina, the new place. Gonna give that a try with my diets. This is the Can Blanc, which is always a popular place being right on the beach. Looks as though they're going to have direct access to the, the sand there, with a few steps that are going to take you down. Just to put things in perspective, it's uh, quarter to one. So it looks like along here there's going to be no parking on Saturday so there's been markets, runs, there'll be all sorts of things going on so we might try and get down in the morning but it's going to be a bit chaotic and uh, parking will be at a premium in here that's been put out ready. I'm guessing they're going to be bringing in things like generators. But uh, lots of people out on this beach. Lots of people in the Colmena. That's the Beehive. The Agua Beach Hotel across the road. Wow. Not too many boats out on the sea, but uh, just one or two in this area. As we go around the corner, I'll probably see a few more. Also, just a reminder that we've got coming up next week uh, as part of World Book Day. There's uh, lots of specific things happening uh, for St George's Day. Uh, St George's Day, the 23rd, is when it's those celebrations are all going to kick off. And uh, you'll certainly be down for that. Sounds like lots of fun things. Can't wait to see. Jason Moore jetting in on over the boat, over the sea there with his Union Jack. I think that'll be quite something to see. Jason Moore being the editor of the Daily Bulletin. Another thing to notice is now that the, the toilets are open and this one is completely free. This is part of Sunday Sea Rose, but it's open to the public and uh, it's right here in the corner. It's there, it's available for disabled as well, and no fees are charged. Hello! Thank you watching the video. That was Wendy and Ian from Huddersfield, nice to talk to them. They were staying at the San Matias, they've been staying there for 20 years. They stay, they like it, but it's, it's, it's actually changed over the years, and uh, a few more younger people are actually getting there. Well, I suppose that's progress, that's how things happen.
And there's the beach here in Palmanova. It's the 16th of April. And, uh, it's quite breezy, isn't it? It's a bit of a breeze. Uh, yeah, it's a bit cool, I suppose. It's blowing off the sea. Uh, the sea is beautiful and clear. Well, we're going up the steps now. See you on the other side. Now, here we are at the top of the steps, just looking down at the beach. And just how clear the water is down there. Beautiful. When you were saying they, they, they watch our videos a lot just to see what the weather's like. And uh, it's one of the most commonly asked questions is what's the weather like? And well, the weather's very changeable. But um, one of my recommendations is just go and watch a video at the time of year that you want to travel. And uh, the video will just show you what the weather's like. And if you watch a selection of videos around that time, you'll get a reasonable idea. So I'm back in short sleeves now. Um, I haven't actually got my shorts on today. I have had my shorts on in previous days, but not today. It is a bit cooler uh, than previously. So we've not got the highs of 27, 28. We're down in the lower 20s. Uh, as you'll see people wandering around there in their swimming clothes, sunbathing clothes, shorts, t-shirts. Also it's sometimes a spot the local because the locals tend to be togged up a little bit more than the tourists. Beautiful views here. And lots of boats still in the bay. beach coming round, it's also looking quite busy. I'm just looking down a little uh, boardwalk down here, that's where the, you can meet the boats if you want to go on a boat trip. And it looks at all the rails there, it's been it's just a rope, it's all nicely repaired. And uh, there's a lot of people hanging around here, so I'm guessing they're waiting for a boat to come in. Go on one of the many trips. Here's the sign, tells you about it. And it says you can get your tickets on board. So you just have to wait for the boat to come. Hop on. Quite a few people in the sea swimming. Again, no, no beds, no lifeguard. Lots of volleyball nets ready for people to play tournaments. And we're going down. We get the bottom. Of volleyball nets up, nobody using them. Maybe they're all having the lunch, there's a whole group of people under multicolored uh, under multicolored umbrellas over there, and uh, maybe they're having the lunch before they start practicing.
the steps. I can do another little update now on the of Tropico Hotel, which, uh, well, from around about November last year, has been undergoing a remodeling, a restructuring. And uh, they're now onto the bottom floor there, that's where I think the dining room was. And uh, well, you can see loads of work going on. They've still got quite a lot of time, it doesn't open until sometime in June. Uh, so, making really good progress. A load of glass there, ready to go in. Uh, the glass at the back is already in. Grass on the front, it's already going in. Somebody working on the electrics. Looking really good. And uh, I was talking to a building friend of mine about it and he was looking at the front and say, he said what a lot of work there was. And that was before the concrete had been poured. But, uh, Concrete has now been poured at the front here, and uh, that looks all good. It's got all the tubes in for power, and now it just needs to be finished off and then uh, tiled. I don't see this as a problem. I think this is going to be all sorted very quickly now. So that's the Tropico, we'll be back down to have another look in a few days time, see what's going on. here give an excellent uh, shade for walking along and the sun is feeling so strong and a nice breeze makes it really pleasant for walking the trip from school. One of the advantages of living so close to a beach is that your uh, sports license can be trip down to the beach. <laughs> School's here now, I've only got a Two months left, they'll finish the middle to the end of June. And then we starting again in September, they have a really nice long summer holiday. Well, I was asked about the Dolphin Bar, what's happening at the Dolphin Bar? great news is it's open. So there was a little bit of concern earlier on in the year when a, a sale sign went up. Well, I don't know what's happened but it's open again now and uh, it's just below the Reverence Mar Hotel which uh, we continue to hear good things about people staying there. It's the tourist information office. Very helpful place there if you need any 
information. <laughs> Hello. No, oh, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> well, that was a lovely little story from Rita and Rob there. They're, they're on holiday here, and uh, <laughs> it's their 50th, and 50th anniversary. 50th. Oh wow! Congratulations on that. <laughs> But they haven't told the children what the grandchildren <laughs> they've come away. <laughs> That'll be a nice surprise for them when they get back. <laughs> when they watch this video. <laughs> well, they're staying at the Reverend Mar and uh, I've told them I hope they have a really nice time there. Uh, so it already seems a nice hotel, so want to make me so. Just, uh, it just seems, seems like an age ago. It's only two or three weeks we're actually at Il Turingo sitting in the bar there having a drink with so we only went Serena. Back a week ago. I can't oh my that goodness, thing. only two weeks ago then. Yeah. One week ago. Oh my goodness. One week. Like seems like forever. And uh, yeah, so it was a nice drink we had there. And uh, those of you watching the videos will notice that uh, Serena missed out yeah. on one of them. She wasn't feeling very well, so and he's just had something very similar but uh, he's now recovering nicely and some very good news from Serena today to say that Luna's got into her local school yeah it's such a pain isn't it such a, a worry for parents when they apply for schools and they don't know whether they're going to get into the school down the road or whether they've got to travel miles to get there particularly when it's a, a little one who's only five uh, well, luckily, um, she has managed to get into the school, which is easy walking distance from where they live. So that's uh, really good, happy news for them. And she's starting rainbows tonight. <laughs> Following all the family's footsteps, they've all been in there. Cub Scouts, Brownies, Guides, all of those things. This is the, uh, the Zell Hotel. And uh, this is one of the places where there's going to be events for the St George's Day celebrations on the 23rd with Lord Archer coming along and uh, signing his books. A bit of a controversial character, I think. But, uh, I'm sure he'll bring in a few people. Rogers Bar's leaving it a little bit late to open this year. Had something to eat here with the girls, didn't we? We did, I think I quite enjoyed that as well. It was nice to sit there and uh, by the beach. It does look as though there's, uh, they've been doing a bit of cleaning up there though, so hopefully they'll be opening up soon. But most places now along the front are open. Very few closed. Angela next week, I hope. Yeah, Babuda. And we're down a beach club. Trees looking nicely pruned as well. <laughs> Homemade pancakes, Nutella, Knickerbocker glory. My goodness, 
a Nutella Knickerbocker Gloria. Can you imagine how many calories they are? <laughs> Ooh, you're way too many for me. And the hotel in front is the Globalis Santa Lucia. The Globalis Santa Lucia, since we were last here, is now open. And uh, you can see people on their terraces in the hotel. It's uh, two sides, so this side looks over this beach. And uh, on the other side overlooks the San Matias beach. Some nice fancy boats out there. This is the uh, outside area. So if you're staying here you can dine outside as well as inside Well, we've just been stopped by a couple, Ramon and Jutta from Stuttgart. Uh, Ramon's actually from uh, the States and uh, they've uh, been watching all the videos and it's really helped them, they said, just to know where they're going. They, they, they've come to Parmanova and uh, they feel as though they know the place from watching the videos and they know where they go and they need to go to buy things. So. Especially the Chinese shop. <laughs> yeah, really nice to meet them. It's always nice. We really enjoy meeting people as we, we come along, walk along here. And this, as uh, I said, was the uh, Santa Lucia Hotel, you can see. It's now up and running, busy. This is the outside terrace, which is now, as you'd expect it, full of people enjoying the sunshine. over in the distance I can see there's a cruise liner in there in Palma and on Friday uh, we're expecting the the biggest British cruise liner in so that would be interesting I might uh, try and nip down to see that ah now this is different I can actually see some parasols So this beach, which is the San Matias beach, the far end, the parasols are out. So uh, <laughs> at last, it just seems to be very late. No lifeguard on the station, I don't think. At least we're getting the parasols. <laughs> well, there we are. Are they? These poles, I mean, they look like parasol poles, but they're just strangely lined up. But in the far distance, the parasols are out. It's sort of in front of the olive tree.
through the gap there, it's the three brothers, which is looking pretty busy. And the Rocco next to that. Barbecue place, uh, well, they're still getting ready to open by the looks of things. But uh, the ice cream parlour is open, you can get yourself an ice cream. Very important. Electric cars here. <laughs> Remember our children having a little electric car many years ago? The Jeep from Val. <laughs> And this is the San Matias Hotel. This is where Sean and Claire are going to be staying a little bit later on in the year. And uh, we'll hopefully be coming down to see them down here. Celebrating Sean's birthday again. So a little electric car is actually remote control. They're actually for rent. These are something you must be able to rent somewhere along here. This is new for this year, I've not seen them before. Yes, <laughs> It's the pool area to the on Matthias Beach. I'm just going up to CISOs again. Just beyond CISOs is the children's park area where you can get a little bit of shade, some benches, just keep out of the sun when it's really hot. And uh, just on the edge there is the public toilets, it costs you 50 cents mine. And uh, yeah, the first aid point, which I'm guessing that is not open yet if there's no lifeguards. Parasol poles, that white ones, they? Well, no, they're different. But, uh, parasols are out, the beds are out, 
and I did say that they were going to have safes on them but these have not got safes on just about everywhere else we go the uh, parasols have got a safe attached to them where you can put your mobile phone or your watch or other valuables they still haven't it was rumoured that they would this year maybe later It's the cantina song. Happy memories of when Jean used to run that. Jean and Pedro. Yeah. And here we are at the olive tree. Well, we've settled down in the uh, olive tree and we've just seen Sue and Paul. They are here on holiday from Surrey and uh, we've ordered some food. So let's see what comes up. So I've chosen the chicken pasta with shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> And I ordered um, well, a Caesar salad with chicken. Wow, but it's come. It looks quite incredible. Well, another lovely meal and a lovely drink at the olive tree. Very nice. Lovely. Uh, Very nice got, service. He's even got a takeaway. We're going to head back now. I just noticed the sign for these uh, little cars that the children are riding and other things. 30 meters up there. Exciting stuff. Which is certainly looking uh, more like a, a summer beach now with the parasols on it. There we go then, it's one of those little cars. Oh, it's a tiny one that is. Rent me from six euros ninety. A day. <laughs> it doesn't say for a day. <laughs> That's probably for ten Please. minutes or something. <laughs> Just in that promenade look amazing. No. Now the lifeguard stations are not manned. I think actually on these one of these signs it does tell you T 
time of the year the lifeguard station is manned. It must be soon. It's now the middle of April. Santa Lucia. having fun trying to get out of the Santa Lucia. It's really tight for them. Got these concrete balls which are uh, quite damaging if you drive into them. Can you really them. see them can you? No. Hey. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> nice to see you back. Come back here. Yes. Good. Good. Three brothers. I'm quite busy. One coach leaves, another one arrives. Hello. 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 We've been watching you for over a month because we're coming out. Have you? Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Sheila and Gary from Liverpool. And uh, really, they've been watching the videos, particularly in the last week or two, running up to uh, arriving here. Uh, just checking on what's going on and what the weather's like. And they're having a great time. The weather's great at the moment. Not too hot, not too cold, it's just right. Oh, these are the apartments, Calablanca, so Ramon was telling us about. That's why he said they're staying. Yeah. To buy a few other things that we haven't got. So this is um, holiday apartments that you can rent. So. Uh, people ask me about them. There are very few apartments you can rent, but there you go. Calablancamallorca.com There's the old lady dies. Nice 
nice to go and have a meal at the olive tree, I think, wasn't it? Then, it was, yeah. I do think the prices have gone up, though. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you'll find that pretty much everywhere you go, everything's a bit more expensive. 19 euros for a burger. So it was expensive last year, it's a little bit more expensive this year. There are still some places you can go and find reasonably priced food and drinks. If you want to be on the front, you've got to pay that premium. So it's a little bit more than you'd pay in some of the Spanish restaurants that uh, cater more for the locals. This is gelatious. And my rose is there all busy now, lots of people sitting outside on roads. Jim will be happy about that. And across this side is Taylor. And he's just looking at another menu. That's a burger is 19 there. Nachos to share 19. Nachos to 19? Hmm. <laughs> You wonder a little bit about some of the price. I have paid 19 euros for nachos. It's uh, a little bit exorbitant, I think. Sorry. I know you've got to make a profit and you've got to make a living, but uh, it does seem a bit of a rip off. It is getting warm, isn't it? We're out of the breeze and it just feels warm. It's the Zell Hotel. Oh, very good, thank you. Not next time, next time, next time, next time. Next time, thank you very much. Yep, we will. See you next time. Always very inviting. We always say no. We did go in for a cocktail once, and it was the most extravagant thing I've seen. A little bit of competition, I don't know if they're family members, but uh, another Indian restaurant close by, which we haven't tried yet. There's the Bora Bora. So it did change hands, but uh, I think uh, clientele us suitably pleased with the change. Here are the gas bottles. This is how uh, well, we have our gas delivered like this. So it comes to the house delivered in these glass bottles. It's the same sort of thing you might use on a, a barbecue in the UK. It just costs a lot less money, about uh, a third of the price. And uh, we use them for hot water as well. And for cooking. So, uh, Gas cooker works on one of those, deliver it to your house. And they, they come and drop them off. Three days a week. And uh, it is the, I, I think, the cheapest way to heat and cook. Might not be quite the most environmentally friendly.
part for the children. I think my battery's about to go. I'm on 6%, so I'm going to switch it off now. Uh, unless something comes up, I'll catch up with you just before we finish. Well, we've had a really nice walk today and we've met some lovely people. And, uh, very nice. Thank, thank you. you to every one of thank them for all of you. stopping, saying hello and having a little chat with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. So bye for now. Bye. Bye.